Hi, I am testing Night Void right now. Seems to be working. Great. So, today I'm working on my comic again. Seems to be a scene lately. Uh, let's, let's see. Just a second. I need some more setup and I'll be good to go. I'll try to keep up uh, this chat better than before when I was missing stuff. <laughs> Not that it's very active yet. Okay. Here we go. I have a bit of a new setup with a bit of a slideshow um, there there, here. And it's mostly my old art, some from my uh, previous comic and some from just for fun. And yeah, that's what I'm going to talk about. I very rarely draw for fun just some stuff that isn't related to my comic that I'm working on. This one or like previous one or prom art to it. Um, while I was uh, looking through just my images, whatever I drew, once I started working on comics, uh, my other stuff kind of diminished a lot. I, I mean, comics is a lot of work, so usually I just don't have time to work on anything else, to draw anything else, and then, you know, burn out and stuff, and you just stop drawing altogether. I hope I will kind of change it slowly over time, but hey, still, I was going to draw watercolors at some foreseeable future. I'm still not doing it because I feel like I need a bit of more of a buffer to my comic. Also, Kind of last minute decided to change uh, layout for like this episode that I'm coloring, and uh, instead of um, four pages in it, it's now six. And the next one also will be bigger than I anticipated originally, just because it's a lot of uh, exposition there, not exposition, just uh, dialogue, and. Um, I don't want to cram it in it. I want to put it kind of more spaciously, even though you can see the like three balloons here, and I think some of them more than one sentence. Maybe not. That's kind of <laughs> not what you usually do in uh, uh, web comic lately, like the scrollable ones, because everybody wants. Uh, not everybody. A lot of people who do them want to just stretch one line of dialogue for as many frames as possible and put some ellipses in between, which, I mean, fine if you prefer to do this, but I don't know. It's a lot of work, I think. Uh, it's either you do too many um, uh, panels you need to draw like some unique stuff over and over just to get uh, the thought across or on the other hand you have to just copy paste stuff and I don't like either I prefer to more dense uh, storytelling but yeah 
Sometimes I just need to give it more space anyway, because it just text won't fit otherwise. I mean, text will fit, but the characters won't after that. Yeah, so I am drawing comics again instead of uh, doing some more fun things. I kind of wanted to do watercolors at some point. I have um, one thing that I started you know, a month ago, two months ago, and still haven't finished yet. Would like to return to it. I mean, it's kind of ruined already, but I don't know. I think I might salvage it at some point. And um, I don't know. In that rare cases, when I do draw for fun, just some random stuff, not not like commission work, not uh, comics, not just something. I don't know. Even if it's like has some use, like. Uh, if it's uh, a gift for someone or something, it's it's rare, but it's very uh, satisfying, I would say. Just very fun to do. Just draw something something else that doesn't involve the same characters over and over. If you like, look at the slideshow. A lot of it is just from my last comic, from previous one, last first, whatever. <laughs> I mean, technically, this one is last for now. I have bigger plans for later. Um, on the other hand, I recently did draw for fun. Um, yesterday was a new episode published of uh, The Hunter, and uh, Depending on where you read it, um, on uh, English version there was uh, this funny little announcement about uh, the date for the next one, like that it will be on 28th of February, because February is, you know, short <laughs> uh, and doesn't have the 30th. And I just uh, kind of had a thought, oh, maybe I should draw like uh, Chibi uh, uh, Hunter and put him there, like he's announcing it. And I, I just did. And I noticed that I rarely do that lately. Like lately is in like last several years. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's nice, it's nice to just draw, just draw without like, oh, I don't have time for it or oh, I don't have mood for it. I'm like not inspired or something. I just did. That was very very enjoyable even though it like took me like i don't know 20 minutes maybe maybe less probably less okay so this is too dark but i needed a shape i now have the shape i can color it the way i want it to look like this is again it's the same scene the same place um, same like colors as uh, previous streams because you know it's a long scene and um, like this whole chapter is in one place it kind of gives us uh, at this point uh, we are already discussing the like plot so i don't know if it's a spoiler probably it's not a spoiler because like it's in description <laughs> of the comic there was stuff about investigation, so they are discussing like the new task for the hunter. So Priestess gives him new order, and they like discuss stuff here. Also, is this? Oops. Yeah, there was a bit of dialogue that I need to fix. I, as you can see, I sometimes add stuff on the gutters, so, like for. This is a palette, for example, and this is just notes, like what, what I should do. I also had notes, not it's not in this fragment, the next two pages have like bunch of notes all over the uh, borders. Uh, well, well, first of all, I have bad memory and I need to write things down to be able to remember it lately. And it's kind of useful to have a reminder, right? Uh, right in front of you all. So I work on um, iPad for um, 
Uh, I draw on iPad, but all the uh, technical stuff I do on PC in Photoshop, so I need to write stuff somewhere when I migrate files, so I remember what's going on. And uh, I would like to do all this stuff in like one place and don't jump between like uh, iPad and PC, like using Dropbox with all its problems and... Um, but sadly... Sadly... Uh, Procreate doesn't really work uh, that good with um, fonts. It's not even Procreate's fault, honestly. It's more of a um, uh, iPad thing. You can't just easily add fonts there. If like it's Creative Commons stuff, it's I don't know if it's even possible. Like I, I know that you can probably add some proprietary stuff, but like you can't use it for comics anyway. So what 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 would be <laughs> the point? I don't know. So yeah, I have to do all the like text uh, in Photoshop, so I need to jump here and there, and yeah. That was a very long explanation of something that doesn't really matter. I mean, if uh, you also do comics or some other stuff and have to jump from program to program, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, yeah. And... Um, I think... Many people who work on comics uh, notice uh, the same thing, that you don't draw all that much just for enjoyment of it, once it's uh, your kind of schedule and you need to uh, do a certain amount of pages and certain amount of time and um, consistently and stuff, and you like when you think, hey, I, I would like to draw something probably. And uh, often it ends up being, well, I have my comic and it's like several years <laughs> to finish it and uh, you better do it now. <laughs> because, I don't know, time is limited. It was um, fun to just draw some random stuff just for, just for fun of it, like some s stupid memes and stuff. It's like, yeah, it's really enjoyable and like it's, I don't know, it's the superpower artists have <laughs> just drawing memes, you know. But yeah, when you're like uh, like super young in like school or college, you can do whatever because you have like lots of time. Even though while you're there, you don't think you have lots of time. You think you're like absolutely swamped. It's like homework and stuff, but like it doesn't get better, let me tell you. So, yeah. Once you start working on comics, which is pretty cool shit, you get to tell your stories so or not your if you do it professionally, but anyway, it kinda eats a lot of time because it's very labor intense stuff like you need a lot of just time and effort put into it because just it's thousands of pictures for one short story maybe not thousand mm. i don't know for like for my previous comic it has like about 300 pages a little less in the main story and like a bunch of uh, additional stuff so it's in total it's more than 300 and uh, i uh, wasn't uh, doing like this in like vertical format it was normal just printed pages and it had it would have from like four or five uh, frames to like 10 12 so it's a lot of just a lot of images if you think about it but like it doesn't feel like it if when you draw comics it's not like every every single thingy is illustration even even for those who go for like illustration quality which is insane but i mean i sometimes use it too <laughs> even though it's absolutely unreasonable but well it happens and um it doesn't feel like it, even though the amount of work you put into it is comparable 
It's like you need to do several illustrations a day to be able to just keep up with your story and uh, even if you like a more relaxed schedule like I am right now still it's a lot of work and uh, it doesn't feel like a lot of work because it's like it's one one thing one comic doesn't matter how many stuff how much stuff you put in there it's one entity so to speak so yeah that's sad what okay feels like my iPad is a bit lagging. That's okay. I hope, I hope. I mean, it's an old one. If uh, I added the um, chat command... Oh, uh, maybe I can. Yeah, I'll test it. Uh... Like this. Does it work? Uh, yep, it does. I mean, you can't see it on the uh, screen, obviously, but you can see it in chat if you're in chat. If you're not, well, you're missing out. Join. Join. So, oh, I made in some shadows of the buildings on the horizon, because... Well, they are behind this window. I, for this uh, batch of pages, I'm not uh, doing uh, detailed backgrounds because I just did uh, last time. It was pretty detailed and it's, it's fine to sprinkle in some established shots from time to time, but like they aren't going anywhere, they're in the same place, so I don't need to go like super detailed for this one. It's like it's still recognizable, it's still, we'll still see that uh, we are in uh, the uh, priestess's office, nothing changes, they're just walking around the same window and talking about a lot. And, like, I'm kind of dread <laughs> the moment when we leave this place. Because backgrounds will become way more complex than now. So, I don't know, I might, I might need uh, to use, uh, to model 3D environment for the next one and just erase it probably i don't use um, the um, pre-made by someone else assets i do all this thing myself i had to learn blender for that which is i mean it's useful skill it's a good program but boy is it complicated um So I might need to do the model of that environment, which also explains why I don't draw the file that much. Because, like, when... I'm not so that proficient in 3D yet. Maybe I'll never be, I don't know. I'm kind of trying to improve, slowly but surely, but... Um, I don't know, Blender... Uh, Blender is um, the open source uh, free one of the rare free 3D programs that can do a lot, but um, it develops very fast. It's every month is like a bunch of absolutely new features and uh, I can keep up with it. It's kind of hard. Like they introduced uh, geometry nodes like a year ago, more than that. Like um, I still haven't figured out how to work with it. It's just that's just a lot. So yeah. So I wish I would have time to draw for fun, but sometimes it feels like it's just impossible. Hmm, do I want to put sun in here? It will show up later. Yeah, I think I'll just keep it like this. 
for now. Maybe like this, like like hazy. So it's kind of there, but we don't see it in great details. I also don't need sketch here. Um, as I mentioned, my last stream or one before that doesn't matter really in which one. Um, there is one big problem with uh, Procreate is uh, layer limitation. The amount of layers you can use at the same time. And I'm already on limit, so I cannot uh, start shading characters that I would normally do uh, at this point. Like, I prefer to go panel by panel, but uh, this time I think I'll just do batch backgrounds. It's not a lot of them, like and then I merge everything for backgrounds like it's now it takes four layers and it will be one and it will free up space for character shading I need yeah oh no I know I don't mm. well actually I will delete the sketch layer so I will have four extra layers and that will be exactly how much I need for characters. So that will work. Okay. Is it fine? Oops. That's too big. It's kind of hard to see what I'm doing, but. Uh, there is some texture that I don't want there, so I'm cleaning it up before I start uh, coloring this wall. It's a lot of texture, actually. Oh well, it's like a balance. I want textured look, but sometimes it's too textured. <laughs> it's fine. It would be uh, way more painful if I was doing it uh, uh, traditionally, like on paper, which I intend to do with my next scene, but well, it's fears in the future. I'll improve my skill maybe if I have time to draw for fun. Because <laughs> watercolors right now for me is fun, even if painful. But uh, I want to do next thing traditionally in watercolors, and that would require. Well, learning how to use watercolors. Right now I'm not very good at it. If you watched uh, one of the previous streams when I tried to draw the hunter in watercolors, it didn't go the way I wanted it to go. Like, he doesn't look like himself. I'm not good at, um, like, um, portrait uh, likeness stuff in traditional just yet like I can do it in digital more or less but it's like because I had a lot of practice not so much in traditional but well it's it's a skill it can be improved like any other skill just needs practice and to have practice I need to draw for fun so I know what if um, what if I do next stream in watercolors? How about that? I know I said it before, <laughs> but what if? Like I mean, if I have um, if this uh, uh, I need this episode finished and uh, probably probably next one. Mm. No, I won't be able to do it this fast. We'll see, we'll see. Maybe in March. <laughs> yeah. I would love to do some watercolors. It's like, it's painful, but it's kind of fun at the same time. A lot of drawing is. I feel like uh, I'm more used to so-called ugly phase in uh, digital just because I know the steps required to 
reach the look I want. In traditional, sometimes I don't know if I did, like uh, if something I did is irreversible already, which everything is reversible in digital. It's not like uh, your paper falls apart if you uh, control Z too much, you know. But it's that's not the thing for uh, traditional. I want a bit more blurred look here, and yeah, <laughs> all I did is return the texture I deleted later or oh, earlier. Oh well, maybe I want it a little bit more. It's almost invisible. I don't know. I'm again going for something that won't be visible that much because I'm like zooming in like crazy, which normally you shouldn't do like uh, if you aim for efficiency, that's not something you should do at all, but well. I'm not very good at doing what's rational, I guess. I'm gonna add some light on the glass. Since we have sun right there, it will be blinding it a lot. Maybe even like this. I don't really want to draw the ground, but it's the same angle from which we saw the ground last time, so I should at least add something there, like some shapes. And um, I don't know, I already explained a lot of how I do this particular comic and backgrounds and stuff. Uh, maybe I should talk about something else, like like this slideshow that's happening there. Uh, uh, while I was um, choosing the pics for it, which, I mean, a lot of it's just random what, what I saw first and stuff, because I have a bunch of um, stuff that isn't scanned or scanned but not, um, not really, um, how to say, I didn't do like clean up there, color balance and stuff, so it's like in really uh, shitty quality. Not shitty, it's like uh, not um, contrasted and uh, like paper looks gray and stuff. Like when you scan stuff, you need to work on it a lot to make it look good on screen. And just for color balance, con contrast, like some curves and stuff. Just so it, uh, because it's a bit different on paper and on screen, obviously. It's very different uh, methods of uh, uh, displaying color and, and contrast and all of that. So, yeah. When I looked through this random batch of bunch of pictures, I noted that uh, well, first of all, I improved a lot since some of it uh, in terms of just skill. I mean, my style changed also, but I wouldn't call it uh, improved necessarily. It just changed. Like it wasn't bad before. It was uh, lacking in some technical uh, aspects, but. It just was different. But I noticed that how differently my color choices are lately. Uh, it was way uh, just brighter before, like more um, saturated, more vibrant colors. And <laughs> the um, explanation for it is uh, stupidly <laughs> obvious. Um, it's just because I didn't um, have good uh, screen. 
I was working on laptop and well before that uh, on some shitty PC and the screen was absolutely horrendous and it wasn't really displaying colors all that much uh, compared to like modern stuff and uh, yeah I was just going for brighter colors because that's it wasn't so that bright <laughs> on the screen but now I look at it on like modern uh, Devices is just absolutely uh, too much, but I kind of like it anyway. So uh, I think it's good. Oh, I also might need to add uh, the glass uh, stuff. Oh, it's not. It's on her on her level uh, what will be the right what angle are we looking at ah not just to parallel doesn't matter it will be visible here a little bit and maybe here a little bit I'm not even trying to make it like realistic it just serve to uh, to imply that it's there, not to be like super realistic. It's a background, it's fine. I don't like the colors of this wall, by the way. I might want to change it a little bit, maybe. I mean, it's because it's contrasted with um, the sun. Maybe I actually should do it darker, which is counterintuitive, but that's how contrast works. Mm, I don't know. I don't like it. Maybe I need more texture there. Not this. Not this. No, it's too much. <laughs> oh, I, yeah, I also added the Hunter's cover into the slideshow, of course. It's one of the not that many illustrations I did lately, but it was like promo for the hunter, so it doesn't count as fun, I guess. And uh, that's the first frame from there, and we we met something I wasn't looking at the, at the screen. Oh, th this one. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that was for fun. I was uh, kind of uh, practicing my uh, portrait abilities so yeah I, I drew some uh, a bunch of dudes <laughs> because I don't know like um, drawing ladies is uh, supposed to be not supposed like it's considered easier to draw I wouldn't necessarily agree if you're going for portrait it's uh, equally hard for both types and hey, anyone in between, but I don't know, I was specifically practicing uh, male portraits and a uh, few of them uh, ended up in this slideshow and few of them are there, <laughs> by the way, uh, yeah, I have this, how it called, uh, corkboard with some of my uh, art, just to remind me that I can do that, I guess. And also, a lot of art is just... Um, it's something they recommend, to just surround yourself with art. Uh, so... I did. <laughs> kind of works. It uh, really puts you in the right mood to draw, which is amazing. It's like the best investment to buy a corkboard finally. <laughs> Let's draw this desk. Also, if you noticed, if you watched the previous ones, or you like binge watching the 
archives or whatever you're from the future and I'm talking to you from these old days <laughs> uh, you might have noticed that uh, music changed I kind of found this pretty aggressively sounding playlist that doesn't really match the current scene but would uh, would be probably very in, um, in in correct mood for like later stuff when the action starts again because like action there was action in the first chapter we started with action I think it's like a good uh, way to start just to jump right in just to make things interesting and um, but now we need to establish some plot points so they are just talking I mean they're not only talking if you like watch uh, if you read the yesterday's uh, episode you've seen there's some magic involved not magic miracles but well it's magic essentially <laughs> I will be repeating this same joke a lot, honestly. So technically it's magic, but it, it called miracles in this world. Because these uh, people are very self-centered and think of themselves very highly. What they are and how are they able to do this and what, what this power is. So they think it's miracles and it's like divine stuff even though there is no deities uh, it's a bit more like a spiritual stuff without deities you know so yeah they're like casting stuff uh, I want it. Ah, yeah, shadow. Right. I need a bit more shadow and this papers. Maybe. I don't want them to look a bit too dark. So now. I need to color the papers itself. themselves. Oh. What's correct? <laughs> I will tone them a little bit to white, but not much. Don't want them to be too bright. So it's a bunch of papers that uh, was. Uh, there for like the whole chapter it was a pain to just figure in which frames it will be visible and in which it won't be because of like angles and stuff and where it will be just cluttering the frame too much and where it's like appropriate to put it to remind that it's there so it's not like it when we need the paper for like plot um, needs it will magically appear from nothing it was like set up from the very beginning but yeah this is like um, an interesting thing uh, with uh, sequential art that you need to always remember all your props and where they are because you'll need them later and if they like come from thin air that's not great I mean, pockets is a good, like, shortcut for that. If, like, something wasn't set up um, uh, beforehand, the pockets will do, but, well, that's kind of... Uh, you shouldn't always use that. Sometimes it should be a little more complex and set up from the start and uh, I guess it's uh, like a uh, pet peeve for a lot of people who do sequential art who knows how to do it 
when they see others do it without uh, consistency for props and uh, same with accessories on characters and all that stuff it's kind of easy to spot when uh, someone drawing without planning and don't set up their props uh, beforehand and just uh, they just magically appear it's kind of funny Then again, it's like no shame to those who do that. It's like normal. It's uh, takes some practice, I guess. And also, it's like a good reason to, you know, to write your script as much as possible uh, before you even start drawing. Not like in like super details. Like every line of dialogue should be finalized, but uh, at least all events and all like uh, plot devices that you will be using should be known to you before you start drawing to avoid inconsistency and just uh, Deus Ex Machinus. I think it's white enough. I uh, also need to color this uh, thingy. Again, if you like watched previous streams or read the comic or whatnot, uh, you may remember that this one was uh, very much a light uh, at the beginning. It was just shining through the ceiling, but now it doesn't. Why? You'll see soon. It kind of reflects still, but it doesn't shine on its own anymore. It's just there. Mm. Yeah, it needs to be darker, I think. <laughs> Which color should I use? Maybe this one? No. I think it looks nice. I'm not sure about how realistic this is, but well, since we don't know if this thing is like hollow inside or not, I think it might work. Maybe like this. No, I don't know. I think it looks nice. It doesn't need to be like super cool. It's just there, so it's not like. Um, important right now. It was mentioned before. Again, you'll see if you read it. Uh, it will probably be next episode actually with this uh, gemstone thingy. Maybe not, I remember. Uh, what else? What else? I probably want more shadow the paper actually because well it's in the shadow of the priestess so it need to be a bit darker on the other hand uh, maybe not um, it's already kind of darker than then the paper it's not like white right now or maybe I'll just do something like this. I don't know, it just looks like it's dirty now. <laughs> Let's look a shadow. No, I don't like it. Maybe I'll leave it like this and then return to it and maybe do something else. Um, I also want to do something with this wall. I don't like the color. Oops. Is it not locked? Yep. Like this maybe. 
I don't know. Maybe I need more light actually on the glass. Maybe it will make it better. We'll see. Um. Should I add some light? Should I imply that the sun is there? Uh, no, I don't like it. Uh, I don't like it. It's too much. Maybe like this. Yeah, I mean, the um, shading on the priestess will kind of change this look. She will be very uh, high contrast, I think. Yeah, I will shade it later when I have her shading. Uh, are we done with this one? Yeah, I think we're done. We can move to the next one again, same angle. Not exactly the same, but and um, well, good thing my handwriting is absolutely unreadable, so no spoilers here. <laughs> um, I wonder if I can be able to read it actually. Ah, uh, yeah, I can. But just because I know what they're talking about. From without context, I won't be able to. Which is, by the way, um, very uh, usual, I would say, thing with uh, handwriting. Like, if you know someone's handwriting, we can read it. But uh, if you don't, then it is often scribbles. Unless, unless a person is really into like calligraphy and stuff. Even then, it might be barely readable. Because you can go overboard with like cursive stuff. Really, really overboard. So we doing sun, like like sun right there. I mean, it should be right there. <laughs> Actually, with this angle. Uh... Yeah, here I went for more um, abstract, I guess. Because if you look at this in the sense of uh, how it should look in perspective, this is broken, like... Absolutely. Mm. Actually, I might want to fix his... Uh, but here, it's not in perspective at all. Which... Uh, I don't know. Can I do that? It will... what the hell? Where am I? Yeah, it will... It might destroy some composition here. That's the problem. Like, I wanted to fit the text nicely and... Um, so, where does his butt goes? Uh, now that I can, he can see lines, I can... Uh, Like this, no, that's that's awful. Yeah, okay, let's do it separately actually. Like this too. The lines first and then the flats can be easily matched with it. Oh, it stands like that. I mean I mean I can just don't try to do it in perspective at all, then in that case he's fine. If you like, like this, just two planes, not trying to match the vertical axis at all, then it'll be fine. Ah, whatever. I'll leave it like this. It, it kind of... Hmm. The desk... Uh, I guess the desk is a problem here. It just really visually just breaks my brain. I should probably just change the desk actually. 
just imply it without like trying to do it in perspective at all. And like sometimes I do this uh, frames or panels or cuts or whatever you call it, um, where it's more like isometric than it's worse. <laughs> Then, and yeah, uh, <laughs> I can't talk right now. When you're not trying to do perspective at all, and you just do plane by plane, and um, it's more. Um, uh, how to? How to call it more abstract, symbolic? I don't know. I feel like imply stuff, and it it does read, but you don't read it as like um, like you would read a photo. You read it more like hieroglyphics and stuff. I don't know if I'm explaining it correctly. You know what I mean? Or well, not? Maybe uh, maybe not. Maybe it's my thing. <sighs> Should I try to match them? Should I? I don't want to. Like, I want to keep these frames. Like, some of them should be like this. I like this style. I don't want to just let go of it because it's not realistic. I think some some stuff shouldn't be realistic in comics uh, if it conveys the idea better and if it like just from composition point of view. This, uh, I feel like this kind of really balanced um, arrangement of uh, objects and uh, balloons and stuff. But like, them desk kind of breaks it a little bit. Maybe I shouldn't do desk at all. Huh? Maybe I shouldn't do wall at all. Maybe I should go for fully abstract. Hmm. It's not a bad idea. For, yeah. It isn't a bad idea, what I'm trying to say. I should try it, actually. I will have similar stuff next page, I think. Next batch of pages. So it might work, actually. So let, let's do this fade. It's like it's already something I did. So it will match the style. And um, yeah, let's do this. She looks really tall this way. Right? She's like huge. But still realistic. It's like it's, it's about here, her waist. Like this legs, yeah, the, her like boots will be here somewhere. She wears long robes. And we don't see her feet, by the way. That's funny. She's always behind the desk. Maybe she doesn't have human feet. Who knows? Maybe she's not a human. Who knows? Um, should be more... Cautious with this stuff though, so I don't like do it too much. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, why not? Why don't go for something more abstract? I'll still keep the mood of the scene. Like the same color scheme and stuff, but so it will be more um, more abstract than usually. Because we already have detailed uh, frames.
into dark. Like darken a little bit to the end. So well, there will be more just fading into it. Kinda like it. Not here though. Ah! <laughs> it's weird, I was uh, making several smaller brush strokes, but for some reason it went as if they were one single stroke. Anyway, I think it's like nicely fades. I need a bit more light. Up, up there, probably, probably I'll play with sun a little bit. What am talking about on this page, though. I mean, yeah, the start the start info dumping here so yeah it'll just um, put all the focus to the what they say because there is not much to look at here maybe I'll change my mind to change this page at some point maybe not we'll see I still, I think I need uh, some, some of this, maybe bigger. Mm, kind of nice, nice and bright, but it kind of it's the her balloon. Maybe I'll add a little bit to her, like this, she'll be more contrasted against it. Oh, kinda nice, I like it. Maybe him a little bit too. Maybe not, he should be in the darkness. It's because symbolism, oh, and I should probably add a bit more contrast here to the document he takes. I like it. I like it. So now, now this one will also have some contrast. A lot of it actually, because uh, he's like the window is kind of aside from him. Here is more into. In the shadow again. Is it for shadowing? Yeah, <laughs> maybe. But I'm pretty sure it's not the one that comes to mind first. Oh, maybe not. I don't know. Why? It's wrong color. And. Return again to the theme, theme, topic. Yeah, topic will be a better word for it. Um, even when I have time to draw not comic itself, I would often opt for like illustrations to it, like some additional stuff that can be used for like promo and we'll just post somewhere which is promo by the way um, and uh, sometimes like with the with my first uh, comic North here I was drawing just for fun some stupid sketches with some stupid jokes and it was nice but kind of ended at some point and never 
Uh, that'll happen again. <laughs> I mean, I kinda did uh, recently when I announced on one of the websites where I posted my previous comic. I announced that this one started and used some quickly drawn stuff to promote it. And I don't remember where exactly. Uh, it probably was... Yeah, it was in Russian, I think. I was going to post it on Tapas also, but... I don't know. I don't have that many readers on Tapas for my old stuff, because it's not mobile-friendly, obviously. So I decided not to. Maybe I will at some point, but uh, probably not. What, what What's happening? But yeah, it was also like... Hey, wh why, why not draw some... Some jokingly um, put stuff, and I did, and it was fun. It was also like a very impulsive thing. And that's what I noticed that lately, when I do draw for fun, it's like a, oops, it's really just impulse thought. If like I think about it and I have like time and energy to do it, then I do it. If I think about it and like put it off for reasons like I, I don't have time or energy, but like I think this, the idea is interesting and it would be cool to do. But well, if I don't do, if I don't do it right away, that it will never happen, which I think many can relate. Relate. Sorry, I'm. My speaking is kind of very damaged today. I don't know why. Maybe I'm tired. Maybe I don't know. But again, uh, the, all this drawing for fun. It's usually just sketches, not like full color illustration with like rendering and stuff because that thing like you can't have uh, you, you can't do it like on imports because it takes too much time like for example i have this um, watercolor drawing i started in december i like took me maybe a couple of just drawing sessions to start it and like start uh, painting it and then just no i can't i can't do that i don't have uh, i don't know the, the will to do it <laughs> but i might i might return to it i rarely return to unfinished stuff if i haven't finished it then i'm not interested in it then i won't ever finish it but um, Maybe I will. It will be a good new habit to have. So, do I want it darker or do I want it to contrast with him? I might... Mm. If I merge layers, I won't be able to work on the wall color without... without changing the rest of the picture. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I think I want to do it a bit darker. Like like this maybe. So this side of him will be in the light and that one in shadow and I, I'll make it really dark shadow so it will contrast with the wall. So I need but also no. No, he's not. Uh, there is no shadow of him on the wall. That's different angle. Um, well, maybe maybe this part will be a bit a bit lighter, but this one should be a bit 
darker. I don't have it. It's weird how Procreate saves the colors uh, that you recently used. Some of them end up there, some don't. Now it looks like it's his shadow. It should not look like that. But it does for some reason. Oh, I just noticed. I think his hand is... His arm is too small. That's also a problem lately. I can't see proportions. I mentioned it in one of the like previous videos, previous streams that I sometimes have this, that I cannot uh, just recognize shapes visually. So they kind of there. I kind of understand what they mean, but I don't see them as like as what they supposed to be. I don't know how to explain it. It's like I. I don't see the whole picture, I just see lines without um, without whole picture. Like, it seems like his hand is too small for his face, right? Why am I tripping? Or is it fine? Like, it should be fine, like, proportionally he's, like... Uh, it's really hard to tell. Like if you this angle, this like it's a big hand. It's like the size of his face, which uh, how it should be. But mm, I don't know. I don't see it. It's kind of hard to draw when you can see what he's drawing. <laughs> like not like see. I I see lines. I don't see the image behind the lines. I like to think it's just brain damage from COVID. <laughs> Otherwise, it's kind of sad. If it's like forever thing. On the other hand, brain damage from COVID is like permanent, so I guess I just have to roll with it. <laughs> And I'm pretty sure everyone thinks they have brain damage from day to time. Not that it's like funny or anything, but yeah. Morbid humor, I guess. I don't know, I'll, I might return to it at some point. Also need coffee. Okay, I I had cold, cold coffee. It it um, really disgusting. But oh well. How much do I have? Oh, not much actually. Hmm. Okay, I did more than half. Cool. But again, I I'll need to shade stuff after that. So um, what's going on? Nothing. Also, some of chat stuff that I set up doesn't work, but I guess I'll figure it out later. For now, let's just draw, even if it's not for fun. And... Um, Thing I mentioned before, like about drawing memes and all that stuff, that's, I don't know, that's, as I said, it's like a superpower for artists, because when you like in a group of friends, the only person who can draw, it's like, we can provide a lot of comic relief <laughs> from basically nothing. Like, it's not nothing, it's like skill you mastered over the like decades, but... It's like something that others can do, cannot do, and it's kind of interesting skill to flex a little bit. 
from time to time. It's like you don't even need to be like super good at it. Like just the fact that you can do it, even if shittily, it's already more than many people will ever be able to do or even think about doing. But like I think it's the same with people who like can video edit and stuff. They can do some stupid edits for their friends and like laugh at it together and it's like something very unique that only them have in their friend group and like if you are you if you have artist friends and you are you are artist yourself that can just graduate to a whole another level when you like meme with each other and that would be cool but yeah i kind of i don't know how to make friends at all you know <laughs> So I don't have artist friends at the moment. I would like to, but uh, how how would you approach someone like, hey, you are an artist and I'm an artist. Let's be friends. Like, it's not like you're in like kindergarten when you can pull this off and it's fine. <laughs> and it's like absolutely normal oh, for adult people. It's kind of cringe or creepy. But I don't know, it's, maybe it's like more to do with my autism than anything. <laughs> uh, okay, do I want this wall here? Or No, I think I should have this wall here because too many abstract panels is too much. Um, like, to have one is fine, like more than that is too much. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, I have this wall here, but I again need to make it a little bit more blurred, same way I did it before. Um, no. no, it's fine, I think. It does make it uh, very blurred. Maybe and even so, it's fine. It's fine. And I'll see the very uh, distinct blue line between them. That's not there, but like that's how uh, eyes um, decipher this. Uh, jump from bright orange to very muted uh, beige, almost gray. It's like as if they have this uh, blue aura. Or maybe maybe it's actually aura from migraine, I don't know. <laughs> uh, it's really hard to draw lately. But it's okay, I'll add the uh, frame. What's called window frame, yeah, and uh, it won't be a problem. Is it an alpha look? Why? Okay, good enough. Looks weird, but okay. I still see this blue thing. Why? Shouldn't be here. Is it? Is there a blue thing? It shouldn't be there. Yeah, watch me go insane in real time. <laughs> I really can tell. Maybe it's too much contrast. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe I should uh, tone it a little bit before coloring. I don't know. No, I still see a blue line. <laughs> oh boy. It's like in this moment you start to question your reality and how 
is whatever I'm drawing actually does look like I see it or is it like absolutely different thing and then like just imagining things. That's <laughs> uh, funny. It's not funny, but you know. Yeah, I really can tell with the colors. Weird. Uh, okay, let's just... A little bit, maybe it'll go away. Maybe not, I don't know. Maybe I'll just... Yeah, it, it went away. Whew. Cool, okay. Okay, that's, that's better, that's way better. Maybe I'll even do it. Yeah. Mm, I don't know. I kind of want to do it orange here to kind of blend it a little bit. Mm, maybe it's too much. I don't know. Let's leave it at that. Uh, do I want... Actually, do I want horizon anywhere? Like, I had it... On the first two, maybe this one is too much, by the way, I need to kind of tone it down. It's too much. It's really... Yeah, like this. It's kind of there, but like, can't really tell. It's kind of there. Uh, it shouldn't be there. But it should be here. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, I... Magically managed to uh, hit 50% gray, which rarely happens. Like that's the problem with the, all the um, all these little thingies in Procreate uh, that you use to change size of stuff or like opacity. Uh, how it's called? Um, <laughs> I don't remember how it's called. It's like you, for example, let's try. Is it visible? Yeah, let's try. I want to hit 33%. Oh, it happened. Okay, cool. Usually when I'm trying to do it, like maybe I was gripping my pencil too hard, but like usually when I let go, it jumps. If you see, like... Like it jumps a few, like steps up or down and um, sometimes it's really annoying like most of the time it doesn't matter like when i'm changing opacity for example i don't care like if it's one percent more or less it whatever but uh, for colors uh, like uh, for color mm, what's called uh, what's called this one Brightness? Yeah, it's brightness. Like, if it's not 50, then I'm, like, really annoyed. It's, like, 49 or 51, even though, like, you can't tell. It still depends very much on, like, how... Uh, how exactly I'm pressing on the pencil, because, well opacity changes of, of the brush strokes if I press more or less um, strongly <laughs> so it doesn't really matter but like I need it to be 50 like I'm not okay if it's like 49 that's kind of one of the small things that doesn't really matter but is annoying for some reason Okay, we're almost done with backgrounds. Cool, 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 cool. I prefer that way, just abstract stuff. It's still like, it's not like white or just gradient. It's still in enough to know where we are, to know what, what the place is. Uh, how she stands? She... Hmm. It's all, all of it is window. Um, yeah, this one is also abstract frame. Oh well. Oh well. It's fine. Again, it's not just gradient without anything. It's not white without anything. So it's 
fajn. And like, again, no hate to those who draw, like, with no backgrounds at all, even, like, do what you want. It's my personal preference, that should be something. And it should be in the right colors for the scene. If it's there, then I don't really care about the level of details. Like, you can go too much with details. It can be too distracting from the uh, characters, from the action, from dialogue, from whatever, like... E again, if you, like, read the comic, uh, in the uh, first chapter, the, the background is really, like, abstract, almost. Like, there is, like, the floor tiles, implied columns, and uh, everything else is fade to darkness, because if I would draw the, I don't know, stuff that's there, it's like it, it was um, the place where they um, had this little fight. It was basically empty, uh, empty building. Not, not building, like, the top floors are empty, because they aren't exactly constructed all that well, so the top floors don't get uh, like enough like water and stuff, like I don't know, people who happen to interact with some of the haphazardly constructed skyscrapers know that it's really a lot of issue with like water uh, pressure on the top floors you barely get any <laughs> so yeah, it's like uh, I'm describing absolutely unnecessary uh, backstory, background, like world building something that it will never mm, be mentioned anywhere in the story. It, like it's not even, it, it's not, it's just something that I have in my head to, to just imagine wh where the fight would be, so I know what to draw, like what would be so it's like imagine just uh, empty office uh, space like big empty thing with like columns and uh, just no walls even open open floor with bunch of columns that uh, hold everything together and you like when you when the company moves into office they like build their own office plan so that was what it was just empty space with columns that were never even used like it it's not like it was um, used and then uh, abandoned because in that case it would be a lot of just abandoned stuff in there and it won't be this uh, good uh, place for to for shadows to gather because it's like the, there would always be a chance that like the owner would show up or something but this, it's like it's it's never never even was in use, and like it's, it's the case with a lot of all those skyscrapers that we have on the background. Like they were all constructed at pretty much the same uh, time, like over like a decade maybe or so, when like the this world uh, switched from fuel from fossil fuel to solar and like they built a lot of these slanted roofed uh, buildings to just gather solar energy and a lot of it was never used because like it just was too much but again that's like a piece of world building that is never used here it, I, maybe someone will mention it maybe like in passing maybe probably not it's, it doesn't matter for the story. It's like same with Noosphere. I had a lot of just details, a lot of details that never were never used. Like I just they were in my head just so I know how the world works, but it it wasn't really uh, having any effect on it. Like for example, like uh, again, if you read it. There is a character named Sphinx, and they, um, well, it's implied that they are a computer. 
They were not originally. They were something else. They were digitized at some point. They digitized uh, themselves, but uh, it wasn't. It wasn't like a computer program originally. Which even like uh, the characters think that the main characters think that uh, things are just the computer program. But it's uh, a bit more than that. It's a bit more, bit uh, more complex entity. I even uh, had. Um, uh, consider the idea maybe drawing the like a special but like the side uh, story about Costa meeting Sphinx like in uh, flesh not flesh like but in, in person <laughs> I guess um, but uh, I don't know maybe I'll do it at some point maybe it wasn't uh, like important for Nosphere and its main uh, themes, ideas. This is just a piece of world being that, again, I not using at all. Okay, I need somehow to make these two walls at the same angle. <laughs> and I will be eyeballing it, obviously, because, well, actually, I can, I can use, can use drawing guide for that, right? Right, right. Um, like if I, if I'll be able to match them more or less. Yep. Cool. Uh, now the question: Is it possible to? Do lasso with assist. Never tried. Let's let's try it. Let's try. It. Nope. Lasso isn't assisted. <laughs> That's sad. I mean, I can just try to do it manually. I probably want to. Mm -hmm. No, wait. Okay. I want this one to be a bit closer to the priestess, but for that I need to move everything, right? Yeah, good. So it was like this, right? Are they this four and this four? Okay, so I need still this one keep the same, but this one move closer to her, like. It doesn't feel like it's the same angle though. Mm, interesting. This four, this four. Oh, okay, I, yeah. Like this, maybe. This is four, this is four. So here. Okay, okay. It'll work. I think. Four and four. So this one. I mean, that'll work. What was the color of the wall? Originally this one. Nope, it won't. I was thinking if it will fill both at the same time. It did not. That's fine. Let's do... Alpha lock and remove drone assist and also um, give me a moment. Need to do something. Let's continue. I need to remove the drawing guide though. I mean, I'm still using it, but it's just for uh, page uh, layout. I 
think it's fine. Also, I think I'll just color the the desk real quick. And like in this case, the desk is more or less in perspective, so it doesn't bother me. Even though I feel like we should see the floor here, but I will not draw it. Why? Because I don't want to. We should technically see it a little bit, but it will just uh, it'll just be annoying. I think it will be very unclear what it is. So won't do it. Like I said before, on, I think on like last stream or maybe before that. Even if something should look a certain way from like realistic perspective, it, it um, if it hurts the readability of the comic, it shouldn't be there. Because um, comic should convey the like the story, the mood, the idea, something. It. Uh, it should imply the space where it's happening, but uh, it doesn't have to be super realistic for that. You can go like super abstract and still get the idea across nicely. And if it's just distracting the reader from everything else, then it shouldn't be there. In my opinion, of course. Like, uh, super realistic stuff looks good if it's done good i mean it's a lot of a lot depends on just the uh, taste the personal taste why why are my brushes load so slowly every time it's, it's annoying it it wouldn't it um, wasn't doing it before so i'm kind of nervous that my ipad is kind of struggling it might be actually what how much uh, Okay, I can't uh, do it on camera. I wanted to check the, the level of charge, but for that I need like, some other stuff that I don't want to because it will be or will be visible. I'll just oh oh that sucks. I can't. Uh, And put the charger in it because it won't, won't go far enough. Give me a second. Okay, it seemed to be charging now. That's great. Uh, where were we? Yeah, desk and wall. Okay. Yeah, by the way, I wanted to say it in the beginning of the stream, but I forgot. Uh, if you watched the previous one, you may have noticed that I have different drawing glove. Uh, like five minutes before I was about to start the stream. I grabbed my drawing glove, I put it on, and noticed that it died. I didn't know they can do that. Uh, the, it has some elastic uh, thread, I don't know, all, all throughout it. Like everything, every, like, every little thingy has it, apparently. And it just... All of it was broken all of a sudden. So it was a lot of just uh, uh, tiny uh, broken elastics all over the thing. I didn't know it can do that. Good thing I had a spare one. But like this one is the last and I guess I need to 
find new ones at some point. I mean, it worked for like several years, survived several uh, washes, so it, like it's... What the hell? Why? Why? Why my brushes don't load? They don't even load at all. What the hell? Oh, iPad. I am worrying. Like, my drawing glove was the same age as my iPad. <laughs> Is it going to die too? Probably not. I don't know. It's like it's an old one. It... Um worked nicely for all these years i used it excessively extensively what what's the word you know um i hope it it lasts because i can't replace it right now obviously it's the thing is expensive i can delete this layer cool great amazing <laughs> was I doing it without alpha lock? Yeah, probably was. Yeah, I did. Mm. Oh, oh, oh. oh, it loaded. Cool. Maybe it was struggling because I had one layer too much. <laughs> Maybe not. I don't know. Oh, no, it's struggling again. Jeez, why? Yeah. Is it good? Mm, it's good enough. Again, I'm looking at like this every pixel, even though it won't be visible. Like it will be red in like in this size on like the phone. No one will see it anyway. Why am I bothering? I don't know. Like, uh... oh, I also just noticed. Oh, it's not visible on camera, okay. The uh, iPad charger is a bit cracked. <laughs> oh boy. Everything is falling apart. <laughs> Myself included. <laughs> I just hope I'll be able to finish this one and the next one. And probably uh, one more to that. I mean, I have a lot of ideas, but again, comics, they just take so much time. And, like, if you have a team, then it will be faster, of course. But if you're doing everything solo from writing to every step of drawing, then every step of marketing this thing to on top of everything else, it's just so time consuming. Oh my god, that's why I don't draw for fun, I just don't have time and energy for that with all this stuff, just. And. I don't know, sometimes I think that maybe some stories will be just just write them. Maybe illustrate a little bit, but don't like don't don't do comics. <laughs> Honestly. I mean it's fun, it's cool, I like that, I enjoy it, but boy. It's like it is it would be a really cool hobby for like an immortal person <laughs> who can like just spend 10 years on one story then move to the next one and like maybe do everything they want to achieve in like several centuries maybe if they like you but i mean if you are immortal you'll be less motivated to like rush it and it will be even slower <laughs> i don't know but then what will happen to your readers though like, if you have some epic series for, like, that you draw for several centuries, no, it, no one will be able to uh, follow it fully. Unless you, like, draw it and then publish all at once. 
That would be cool. Yeah, reasons why artists should be immortal. <laughs> uh, I mean, with uh, some artists dying without finishing the stuff, it's kind of... I'm not even talking about artists necessarily. It, like, goes for writers too. It's kind of sad when the creative person starts something and is unable to finish it because they like die from some often preventable thing. Like... I don't think I want to talk about it actually. There was a lot of discourse about it lately in like comic circles, so I guess everything that could be said about it is already said. So let's move on. We are almost done with backgrounds. Cool. Do I want Do I want to merge it? Okay, let's look at it. If there is nothing absolutely horrendous, then I think I'll be merging. If there is something that I want to... Mm, this line is too so thin. I think I need it to a bit more thick. A little bit, a little bit. Now I need to recolor everything, because it's in wrong tone. I should have just grabbed it the, uh, from the page, not from the palette. No, it's fine. No, it's too dark now. Ah, annoying. That's annoying. Ah. Um, <laughs> now I think that this is too. No, it's fine. Okay, this this. Mm, I don't know. Maybe I want a bit more, a bit more light in the window. Maybe even like this. No. Maybe why not? It's kind of nice. Uh, this is nice. This... Uh, I'll do some shading here after I shade her. And this is fine. Okay, I'm merging. Oh. Do it merge correctly. Lately I noticed that when I merge um, light effects, they merge into different color and it's... That is not great. Start with this one. Okay, seems fine. Okay, I put starting lagging and I don't like it. So seems fine, seems fine. Ah yeah. I, mm. Yeah, I need to add some glass effects that I forgot to it. That's speaking about consistency. I could have just, uh, whatever, but I'll spend extra time to add unnecessary details for consistency's sake, even though it doesn't matter. Why? Well, because that's what I do. It's not even visible, like what? What the hell? It, it's here. It doesn't have to be here. Here it sh should. I don't know. I'll just add it for like. So it's there. And like here. This one? Yeah, this one does need. Again, well, main. Um, not main. Like. It's there for consistency because we saw the, how this window looks outside, from outside, 
so we know that it has three sections, but also like when we look at it inside, I'm trying to position these, um, this horizontal line the way that it's makes obvious that the priestess is uh, taller than the uh, hunter. Not like way taller, but a bit taller. He's like, he's a short king. I want it here though. It will kind of break the perspective a little bit. Because it's, again, it's not realistic here. So if I try to do it realistic, it will break them. If I... Uh, really hard. My brain is not handling it well. I might do some here, maybe. Is it the same angle like here? Just kind of implied so it's there, but I want to do anywhere else. Okay, good enough. Let's do shading now. I that's one of my favorite steps actually. Maybe maybe the most favorite. Um, here I do it differently than in uh, no sphere. No sphere was in full color and there uh, was a lot of layers for shading and, and a lot of steps for shading. Here I'm doing it way more I wouldn't say simple actually it's not like it's not easier it's just different like I do more like painterly stuff soft shadows that sort of thing and oh I can merge this stuff why didn't I do that before I will need light and I will need a bit of tone. Yeah. That's four layers I was talking about before. So let's shade them. I use this brush for it. Okay, where is the sun? Sun is there. So he will have very simple shading here. Just frontal basically because he is uh, facing the sun in many aspects so small brush and bigger for this Smaller again. Again, I'm doing to zoomed in it's that I don't really need to do, but well, kind of like it. So now we switch to pencil that is more. Um, it will give me some soft softness so like it's no this part is somewhat in shadow this also a little bit uh, let's soften this edge this one and this one this should be a bit of a shadow, a bit, and yeah, looks fine. I will add a little bit. I can do it right away, actually. Uh, this lower opacity, just for some definition, some depth, or whatever you call it. So like, it's basically shadows inside shadows. Give him more volume. Hmm. 
Mm, that's fine. Since I'm... I'm not shading like the black parts, obviously. Not shading as in with shadows. I will add highlights there, of course. So he's fine. She's not there. Good, so I only need to do face, which is amazing. It saves a lot of time. That's like... The point of limited palette was that I don't uh, need to spend so much time shading, but as a result I just went into too much details every time. When I'm actually oh, it's too dark. Why is it? Yeah, it should be like just a little bit, just to tone the shadow so it's not not gray, but with a little bit of this purple going on. It's not dark enough. Obviously, that's because I didn't get gradient shadows for some reason. Why are we not working? Oh, we do. Just to low opacity. Okay, that's better. Okay. And like this. Not too much. Like this, a little bit, yeah, so this one is darker. Okay, now highlights. Highlights I do on the topmost layer, so it will be going over lines as well, so I need to be kind of careful to not, not like this, should be, what the hell. And the balancing act is too much. So with highlights, I just for my old habit to go over the contours just to make them pop out a little bit, and then I'll do uh, for planes with bigger with bigger brush, and also for uh, gems I will go with white after that. So this kind of just gives a little bit of volume to his features. Like so a little bit of volume on his uniform, his well, body in uniform, you know. Again, it's not uh, realistic and it's not uh, necessary, just what I do because I like how it looks. Call it my style, I guess. That's like it helps me to see it better. Is a more voluminous thing. Kind of brings it all together a little bit. Now I'll do this thing with. Um, bigger brush so I'm gonna just with some planes on his face I guess no that's not so which ones is towards the sun this you can see it properly this this definitely yeah that looks nice uh, maybe a bit of glow to his cuffs, just because they would be glowing in this amount of light. A little bit here, just a little bit barely visible. You know, I click here. And that's it. This is more in the shadow. Now I need white for his gems. And... Uh, Too much. Um, maybe not actually. Maybe it's fine. It is shining pretty actively right now. And uh, this one. Um, mm, maybe I need a bit more highlights. Every time after I do the uh, highlights on his uniform, his face looks like it doesn't have enough of it, just because of contrast.
even though no it's fine it's fine i think maybe i need some on his hair some it's here yeah. again it will be visible in like this size like tiny so it won't be visible at all <laughs> I will not shade her. This again, this thing I use often when I don't want to focus on uh, one of the characters when the other is talking, but I still need to imply their presence, so I just do shoulder. That's like the same thing often used in like cinema and stuff. So yeah. Now her. What did I want to do with her? Like this side is kind of in shadow. There was a kind of bright uh, light source inside the room before, but now it's gone. So she'll be more in shadow. And it's like one of the well, it's the main reason why we don't have uh, the reflections on the glass anymore, which we had previously, which was like a focus for one of the... I think it's an published episode, actually, like the last one I published, it has the reflections on the glass and uh, like several frames are made the way that we see their reflections not them. Like, when they talk, I like that. But like, since they don't have this bright light source in the room anymore, they won't have reflections on the glass when there's like sun uh, shining right into it. Then again, um, it's kind of realistic optics and stuff, but it isn't necessary. Like, if if there is the need to have a reflection somewhere, even though realistically it shouldn't be, but it would look cool, then yeah, go for it. Nothing wrong with that. The main thing is it should look great. If it looks great, it doesn't matter how realistic it is. I mean, unless you work in realism, and that's the look you're shooting for, then yeah. But again, it's like personal preferences. Some people can stand when something isn't realistic, some don't really care or can't tell even. Because like you need some trained eye for that. I I mean if it's done like too poorly you can't tell if like someone tries to realism but fails it it's kinda obvious. Even then it doesn't mean that the comic is bad. Just some parts aren't great, uh, it only is uh, an issue when other parts aren't great either. Like if you have like not great art but the story is cool then who cares if the art isn't there. And vice versa. I mean no, if the story, if, if the art is amazing and absolutely beautiful, gorgeous and stuff but you letter in this shit, I won't be able to read it so, sadly like or the plot is absolute garbage then I won't be reading it also but if the art is somewhat fine and the rest is good then it's like it's funny how art is the most time consuming thing but it's not the most not the one that like breaks the comic if it's good enough if it's readable if it, even if it's not like super high quality then it's fine but if the story is bad, then, then well, there is no like art that can save a bad story. Again, in my opinion, I mean, I some I attempted to just look at some comics that had 
absolutely awful lettering and uh, somewhat questionable in terms of quality uh, story. I ended up just looking at pictures and uh, never following up of this what happened there or how it ends or whatever. So I just looked at whatever is there already and be yeah, a cool art and move on. But if the story is good, then even if the art isn't there, it's often worth some follow-up. Also, <laughs> uh, on that topic, it's uh, really amazing thing about webcomic, not like webtoons, uh, webcomic, like old school stuff. <laughs> if you can call it old school. Um, you can see if like the uh, the creator doesn't like give up and they continue to work on it through like over the years you can see the art improving and it's, it's just so good to look at like first pages and like last pages and compare and see like the, all the progress the, the creator uh, achieved it that's very inspiring and cool and stuff with webtoons sadly it's kind of opposite you see how good it was at the beginning and then like after author started to just rush everything and like go went on like tight schedule and like needed to pump out as much panels uh, as possible and the quality just goes down the drain and that's really sad and that's why i prefer web comics to webtoons uh, web comics and, and like page format i guess because like scrollable thing it's became the thing relatively uh, lately it's not like the way it started like normal thing would be published on one two pages three maybe if you like uh, if it's your full-time job a week and like pages like i don't know from four to maybe ten panels and that's fine. And now with like webtoons and stuff, it's it is implied that you should pump out for, like 50 panels each week. That's insane. That quality just goes down the toilet because of that, and like it doesn't worth it. I think. Like, because not only art suffers from it story suffers as well and why read it if it's it's not good but again it's just my opinion and we run out of music and music was two hours and i think i'm kind of need to end it here because two hours was a bit too much i need to like stretch and stuff sitting for two hours is not good like if you sit for two hours you need to stretch for five minutes and then sit for <laughs> two more hours yeah i think i think i'll end it here i will shade it all off screen it was kind of it was good i went really fast through all these backgrounds so that's nice and uh, hopefully next time will be watercolors i really hope so if I won't be anxious that I won't be able to finish this fast enough to get enough buffer to get enough for episode updates <laughs> talking about the speed at which you supposed to pump up episodes <laughs> same thing I mean I try to do less with more quality but still that's with everything when you need to do it on some with deadlines with regular deadlines it uh, you end up worrying that you won't be able to do that and be like anxious and i can draw for myself i need to draw for my comic i need to finish it faster because it takes like several years to finish and you don't probably have this much time and like you need to yeah but i hope by the watercolors next we'll see you can i don't know call me out if i don't <laughs> okay
guess we're done for now. Yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.